Hi, I'm Jason Mears and this is a GPU comparison of software versus dedicated. But first a disclaimer, these tests have not been undertaken in an isolated environment nor have they been made in a very carefully controlled scientific manner. You should not make any business decisions nor take any action based on the results shown here. This is purely for entertainment value and please have a look at the disclaimer which will be shown at the end of this video again. So. The first thing we're going to start with is a GPU comparison using the 2007 Sanctuary be benchmark running in 640 by 480. If you looked in the top left of the screen, you'll see a software adapter, a VMware VGA uh, SVGA 3D. That's the standard VMware software defined graphics card on, given on a virtual machine. Um, it's a single uh, monitor, a single card, and it's got 256 mega RAM. Uh, and the 3D has been turned on and also allocated 256 mega RAM. And you'll see from there it's struggling a little bit with this. I think the frame, total frames per second is around three, where some of the other network, uh, or some of the other video cards in this um, video are achieving anyway up to 600 frames a second. So that was the, the software defined uh, GPU. In all of the videos, you'll see all the uh, same uh, graphics cards are in the same place. If we now move on to the top right, which is an NVIDIA Quadro 2000, was released in 2010, um, and this is being used as a dedicated pass-through card. As you can see, it's doing much better than the original software-defined one, and managing to do a reasonable amount of frames per second here as well. Um, a little bit jerky, but not too bad. If you compare that to the two below, which are slightly newer uh, Quadro cards, the P-Series, the Pascal base cards. And if you look in the top left-hand corner, the software uh, graphic adapter has, has struggled altogether. It's come to a complete halt and is now extremely jerky. So the next benchmark we're going to run is uh, called Heaven, uh, and this is another benchmark from the same organisation, uh, Unigenie or Unigene. I'm not sure how you pronounce it. Uh, and this is their 2009 Heaven benchmark running in 1024 by 768. Um, same cards are in the same position again, but if you now look in the bottom left hand corner, you'll see an NVIDIA Quadro P400. The card was released in 2017 and again is a P series, so a Pascal based Quadro. As you can see, doing really well on this one, reasonably smooth. Uh, quite a detailed uh, animation, this one, or de detailed graphic. Again, in the top corner, the software defined graphics card, the SVGA 3D, struggling a little bit to catch up. Most of the dedicated cards are doing well. Some are slightly more jerky than others, but they are keeping up with the graphics and keeping up with the animation. So the next benchmark we're going to run is the 2013 benchmark called Valley. This is running in 1280 by 720. Uh, unfortunately, the software-based card and the older Quadro 2000 didn't really perform at all on this benchmark. So I've just now got the two newer Pascal series, the Quadro P series. So we've got the NVIDIA Quadro 400 from 2007 and the slightly newer P620 from 2018. So generally the same card, one's just a little bit more powerful and a slightly newer generation. As you can see, both doing a reasonably good job of this, but the, the P620 slightly smoother than you would find on the P400. But just to be realistic about this, this is um, full screen video that we're running. This is not a typical type of environment you'd see in a end user computing or VDI. Most people don't need to render things in full screen, but it's just showing that if you want to pass through a graphics card, you can get a reasonable amount of performance. And really, it's just trying to show you the difference between um, dedicated and hardware accelerated and purely software defined. So for the average office unit user, software defined has been used for years and years and has been fine. But uh, as time moves on, people are starting to notice that they need either a dedicated card or a shared card, something like a NVIDIA grid, which we'll cover in another video. Um, we're now moving on to the 2017 uh, demo, which is Superposition, running in 1920 by 1080. So this is actually running in full screen. 
the way that I've captured these is by setting up a virtual machine and passing through either a software or a hardware based card and then I connect to the machine over terminal services and record the screen over terminal services so it is flawed it isn't an accurate way of doing this it certainly isn't a scientific way of doing this but it will give you a, a reasonable idea of the kind of capability and kind of performance you can get through by passing through a PCI card rather than just using the software renderer So again, quite a, quite a high level of detail there. So still a little bit of jerkiness, but that could also be down to network conditions. I should point out that whilst I was doing these benchmarks, it was in a house where people were using uh, the internet connection and the network connection for things like streaming TV, Wi-Fi. I even had a machine running folding at home. Uh, at the same time so less than ideal connect, uh, conditions and certainly recording things over an RDP protocol again is a, a less than ideal way of doing it but for the purposes of putting up a quick video just to show you um, differences between cards I thought it would be useful but treat this as purely educational not as factual so I think we'll probably just fade it out to the end now just enjoy looking at the video So thank you very much for your time and I hope you found that useful and again if please read the disclaimer at the end of this uh, video it'll be on there for another 15 seconds once the video finishes. So uh, again this was a comparison of software graphics cards versus hardware GPU as part of the vSphere 7 home lab series. Thank you for your time.